Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this lecture will lecture on expectation, mathematical expectation. Mathematical expectation. This mathematical expectation in you know, chapter chapter five. Five. Now you can refer to page page nine three. So uh, by definition, um, expectation we will focus on the mean mean or expectation of x and then uh, we go to the variance the variance or expectation of x raised to minus by expectation of x square So uh, <coughs> I divide into two parts. One is uh, the the expectation value on uh, discrete discrete random variable, and the other one is uh, the expectation value of continuous continuous random variable. Okay, we go to uh, expectation of x. So, mean or expectation of x <coughs> by definition is equal to uh, for uh, discrete random variable is summation of x function of x for all x. Then for the continuous, this for uh, discrete random variable. And for continuous random variable, the expectation of x is equal to the integration of from negative infinity to infinity. This is a lower limit. Lower limit and here is upper limit. x if x dx. This is for continuous random variable. Okay. Now, then uh, for variance, Variant of x, variant of x by definition is equal to expectation of x raised to minus by expectation of x raised to. And this is referred to the mean, mean square, mean square. Now, um, and this can be written as expectation of x square. Is equal to summation for all x, x square f x minus by the expectation of x we have learned previously. Expectation of x is summation of x f x for all x square, and this is for a discrete random variable. And then for the continuous random variable, variance of x is equal to the same formula, expectation of x raised to minus by expectation of x mean or expectation of x square. Okay, and this can be written as for the continuous, you integrate from the lower limit, like infinity, to upper limit, infinity x raised to fx minus by this part is the mean is uh, integration of from lower limit length infinity to infinity up to limit x fx here we have dx with dx and dx then raised to and this is for continuous random continuous Discrete random, discrete random, discrete random variable, and here is continuous, continuous random variable.
Now, uh, look at first example. Example um, 5.1. Example 5.1. Let's say we have this function. <coughs> so, given, given that we have x equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3, then your fx is given as 1 over 6, 1 over 3, then you have 3 over 10, then is 1 over 5. So I want to find, let's say I want to find the expectation of x. Now the expectation of x or mean, mean or the expectation of x, this is a case of discrete random variable discrete random variable okay so expectation of x we know that for the discrete random variable the expectation of x is equal to uh, summation of x fx for all x so here is equal to so my first x is 0 multiplied by fx is 1 over 6 plus by 1 multiplied by 1 over 3 plus by 2 multiplied by 3 over 10 plus by 3 multiplied by 1 over 5. So this will give you the answer of 0 plus 1 over 3 plus by 6 over 10 plus by 3 over 5. So here I have, so this part is 6 over 10, this is 12 over 10, so 12 over 10 plus by 1 over 3. So the final answer here is equal to, so if you simplify this thing, you get 1, 8 over 15. Now, for the case of, uh, then we try to find uh, the variance of x. So, now, variance of x, the variance of x is equal to expectation of x squared minus by the expectation of x squared. So, for this case, uh, uh, example uh, 5.1, we have, here we have x is 0, 1, 2, and 3, then our fx is still, uh, we have fx is equal to 1 over 6, 1 over 3, 3 over 10, and then I have 1 over 5. So I want to find the variance here. So the variance here, you can um, so since we have expectation of x, previously we have calculated expectation of x, our expectation of x is 1, 8 over 15. So we just need to find expectation of x squared. Expectation of x squared is equal to summation for all x, x squared fx. So we have here, so my first x is 0, 0 squared multiplied by 1 over 6. 1 over 6 plus by 1 square multiplied by 1 over 3 plus by 2 square multiplied by 3 over 10 plus by 3 square multiplied by 1 over 5. So this will give me the answer of 0 plus by 1 over 3 plus by 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 over 10 plus by 3 square 9, 9 over 5. So the answer will be, um, so here is 18 plus by 30 is 30 over, uh, 18 plus by 3 is 30 over 10, 30 over 10 plus by 1 over 3. So this will give me an answer of 3, 1 over 3. Okay, this is the expectation of x squared. So, Therefore, the variance here, the variance is equal to, 
expectation of x squared is 3 over 3, 1 over 3 minus by now the expectation of x previously we have 1, 8 over 15 and don't forget to square the whole thing here so this is the final answer for so you can solve this part and you can solve this one this one you can solve this one it gives you the answer of the variance here this is the variance okay let's look at example 5.3 this is a case of before that this is a case of a discrete random variable So look at example 5.3, example 5.3, example 5.3. So uh, the function there is fx is equal to fx is equal to three uh, x square x square minus by or sorry plus by three over one hundred and seventy x is in between zero to five and then zero as well. This is a case of continuous continuous random continuous random variable. Continuous random variable. So I want to find the mean or expectation of x. Expectation of x expectation of x is equal to so the integration from lower limit for this case this is a lower limit and here is the upper limit the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 5 so x multiplied by fx dx so so we have 0 to 5 here so x is still x and then fx is 3 multiplied by x raised to 2 plus 3 over 170. Then you differentiate, you integrate this function. Okay. So to integrate this function, we can simplify this thing here. This is equal to 0 to 5. So 3x x squared. So we have 3x cubed plus by 3x multiplied by x plus by 9x over 170. So you can integrate this one. So this will give me the answer of now in the, the integration of 3x raised to so 1 over 70 is this is a is a coefficient. Eh? So we just put like this. So 1 over 170. Then the integration of 3x raised 3 is 3x raised 4 over 4 plus by 9x raised 2 over 2. Then you substitute for 0 to 5. So this will give me the answer of 1 over 170. 3x raised 4. So um, 5 raised 5. Right, 5 raised 4, so we have 3 over 4, 5 raised 4, plus by 9, 5 raised 2 over 2, minus by, if you substitute 0 there, you will get 0, eh? the overall is equal to 0, so, so we have here 1 over 170, so if you solve this one, we get 5 uh, raised 4, 25 multiplied by 35 is uh, 5 to 65 minutes. So 2 multiplied by 10 is uh, 10, 12. So here is a 10, uh, bring up 1. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 1, 5, 6 to 5. So we have 6 to 5. Huh? <coughs> 6 to 5. Then multiply <coughs> multiply by three. So six to five multiplied by three we get fifteen here. Two three six seven is uh, eighteen. One eight seven five. One eight seven five over four plus by 
5 raised 2 is uh, 25, then 25 multiplied by 9. So 25 multiplied by 9, we have 25 by 9 is uh, 5, 4, so 18, so 18 plus by 18 plus by 4 is 22. 18 plus by 4 is 2 to 5. So we have 2 to 5 over 2. Okay. So if I solve this one, <coughs> so I get uh, this will give me the answer of. So this will give me the answer of. Uh, if I solve this one. This we give the answer of 1 over 170 multiplied by 1875 over 4 plus by 225 is 450 over 4. So if you solve this one, you get the answer of the final answer there is. Uh, So if you solve this one is yes, you have here you have uh, five then you have two here so nine thirteen one is two so two three two five over four multiplied by one over one so this is uh, the final answer for for uh, example. Now there is something wrong with the uh, the book there. Uh, so please make a correction there. Uh, so uh, your, your, your answer for, uh, for example five point three from the book is uh, I think it's wrong. So this is the final answer for the one. So two three two five or four multiplied by one over one seven zero. This is expectation of x. Now, if you want to find, uh, then let's say I want to find the the uh, variance of x. For this case, I want to find the variance of x. So the variance of x, yeah, so we check again. This one is 0, 5 and 0 is 5, 7 and 5 is 12. You bring 1, 9 by 5 is 13, 3, 1 is 2, 3 to 5 over 4, multiplied by 1. Of the other one, seven zero. This is a final answer for the expectation of x. Okay. Now, let's say I want to find uh, from this function, I want to find the variance. Okay. So my mean here, I put the mean. So expectation of x is equal to one over one seven zero multiplied by two three two five over four. This is the the expectation of x. Now, I want to find variance. So, variance is equal to, variance of x is equal to expectation of x squared minus by the expectation of x raised to. So, the expectation of x, don't worry about the expectation of x because we have, we got already, we have, we, we have calculated the expectation of x as now. So, the expectation of x is 1 over 1, so 0, Multiply by 2, 3, 2, 5, or 4, you just plug into this formula, you will get, you, will, you can solve this one. So, before you can plug in this value, then before that, we have to find the expectation of x squared. So, the expectation of x squared, by definition, the expectation of x squared for the continuous random variable is equal to integration from the lower limit, your lower limit is 0 to 5 x raised to fx dx okay so this is can be written as 0 to 5 x squared fx is 3 over 170 multiplied by uh, x squared plus by 3 okay, dx so to solve this one, um, 
because of 3 over 170 is a, is a constant here, is a coefficient here, you can bring it down here, bring it out. So this can be written as is equal to 3 over 170 integration from 0 to 5 x square x square plus by 3 dx. So this can be written as 3 over 170 integration of 0 to 5 x raised 4 plus by 3 x raised 2 dx. Okay. Okay. Now the thing here you can uh, you can write like this. Uh, this is this can be written as so we have here now if I integrate this function x raised 4 I integrate x raised 4 I'll get uh, so I put here first 3 over 170 x raised 4 if you integrate x raised 4 you will get x raised 5 over 5 plus by 3x square is 3 x raised 3 over 3 then substitute from 0 to 5 okay so this expectation of x square x square so this can be written as 3 over 170 so substitute for x x 5 raised 5 so 5 raised 5 5 raised 5 over 5 Okay, plus by plus by five raised three because a three and three can be this off, then minus by zero. Okay, five raised five over five is a five raised four is six to five. The six to five plus by five raised three is one to five. So equal to 3 over 170. So this is equal to 3 over 170 multiplied by 6 to 5 plus by 1 to 5 is 750. 6 uh, 5 5 is 25, 25 is 50. So 750. So this is uh, the, I call the, expectation of x squared. So, therefore, the variant of x, we know that the formula for variant of x is the expectation of x squared minus by the expectation of x equal to square here. So, here is given as the expectation of x is 3 over 170 multiplied by 7 five zero a minus by the mean just now expectation of x is one over one seven zero multiplied by two three two five over four square this is the final answer for you can solve this one this is the final answer for <coughs> variant of x Now, 
there is uh, some uh, definition on this uh, uh, mathematical expectation. Now, if we have, um, let's say I have uh, expectation of some definition on this one. Uh, if I have, um, I want to find the expectation of some definition, some definition. Now, if I have this function, as I, am, I want to find expectation of hx, for example. So this is if equal to h expectation of x. Now, if I want to find this, I have uh, I have expectation of I want to find expectation of a plus by bx. So this is equal to. This can be written as expectation of A plus by BX. BX. Expectation of BX. Expectation of BX. So this can be written as expectation of A plus by B. Expectation of X. And expectation of a constant is equal to a constant. So this is equal to A plus a B expectation of expectation of x okay. now if I have a joint probability for them joint probability joint joint probability probability function probability function joint probability function now let's say I have expectation of I want to find expectation a joint probability function we have f x y fxy so if i want to find expectation of xy x expectation of xy is equal to if if fx and fy is independent x and let if this uh, expectation of xy is equal to expectation of x multiplied by expectation of y provided provided x and y are independent. Then, if you have, let's say you have, I want to find the expectation of x plus y. This is equal to expectation of x plus by expectation of y. No, expectation of x plus by for the joint probability function, the expectation of x, and this one is equal to, you can write here, like expectation of x here is equal to summation for all x, x fxy, plus by summation for all y, y fxy. This is a case for this is a case for a discrete random variable. Now, for the case of continuous random variable for the joint property function, for the joint property function, and for the uh, case of discrete random variable, so expectation of x plus y by definition is equal to expectation of x plus by the expectation of y. So this can be written as expectation of x is integration from negative infinity to infinity x f x y dx plus by integration from negative infinity to infinity y f x y dy. So this this is how we solve the joint property function and some definition of what you call the mathematical expectation. Now, uh, can you refer to page uh, page uh, one zero four, example five point seven? 
page 104, page 104, example 5.7. Now, given that our joint property function, this is a case for, for discrete random number. So here is a discrete random variable. So fxy, fxy is given as y minus x over 3, x is in between 1 and 2, and y is in between 1 and 3, 0 as well. So this refer to uh, discrete, uh, this is a, a joint property function for discrete number. From this case, I want to find the expectation of x. Now, the expectation of x. <coughs> expectation of x. So, by definition, for discrete random variable, a joint property function is a joint. This is a joint property function. This is a joint, joint property function. So, by definition, expectation of x is equal to summation for all x, x fxy sorry um, no so uh, please make a change change here so the expectation of x is equal to so previously uh, I give you a wrong formula so uh, try make a changes here expectation of x is shall summation for all for all x for, sorry, for all y, summation for all x, <coughs> x, f, x, y. Okay. The, <coughs> the expectation of y, the expectation of y is equal to uh, summation of for, summation for, for all, for all, uh, for all x, for all x, summation for all y, y, f, x, y, and this applied to same thing here, this is applied to the, um, for the continuous function, so for the continuous function, you have to do the double integration, here this is for, for the script, so please uh, refer back to the previous uh, lecture so so uh, previous uh, statement there so make a changes there so expectation of x is this formula and this is for the discrete random variable and for the continuous random variable okay b for the continuous random variable expectation of x is equal to uh, double integration so double integration from the lower limit to until the upper limit in negative infinity to infinity x f x y and if you refer to here is x then you integrate dx and this y dy then expectation of y for joint probability function we integrate negative infinity to infinity negative infinity to infinity y f x y dy dx and the inner part here is is a limit for y the outer part is this is a limit for y okay here is y from y from negative infinity to infinity and here is x from negative infinity to infinity and this one is x from negative infinity to infinity and here is y from negative infinity to infinity okay so uh, if you refer to the previous um, uh, lecture so make a changes here so the expectation of x for the, uh, the continuous random variable we have to, to to do a double integration and for the discrete random variable we have to do double summation okay? so previously i told you that the integral the expectation of x we just do a single integration this is only for joint probability function for join join probability function 
So, <clears throat> look at the first example. Okay? First example. Now, I want to find the expectation of x. Eh? By definition, by definition, expectation of x is equal to summation for for all x. For all x, x, fx, fxy, then the, the outer part is summation for all y. So for this case, uh, you can sum for all x first. So you can sum for x by this one is equal to which is equal to summation for all y, summation for all x. So x, the function there is y minus by x over three. So if we sum for all x, we have here. We have uh, so we have summation for all y outside. You sum for all x. So the first x is one. One multiplied by y minus one over three. Plus since uh, three is a is a constant is a coefficient, so you can bring out three there. We can put like this. We can put like this. So here you can write like this. So this is equal to one over three summation for for all x for all y three for all y summation for all x x y minus by x okay. y minus by x <clears throat> now so we sum for all x first so this is equal to so one over three summation for all y so if you sum for all x we have um, so we have we start with one 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 multiplied by y minus one plus by two multiplied by two multiplied by one minus by two this is for x so this will give you an answer of one over three summation for all y okay so uh, 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 plus by 4 y minus by 4 y minus 1 plus by 4 y minus by 4 so here is equal to 1 over 3 summation for all y all y so here is 1 plus by 4y is 5y minus by 5. Okay. And this is a it is a summation of x. Then uh, then we have we have we have to solve again. Here we have to solve again. We have to we have to solve the inner part here. The inner part here, this part, we have to solve this part. So we have here. 1 over 3 so then you sum for all y so y is start from 1 so 5 5 multiplied by 5 so i just write the formula again so here is 1 over 3 summation for all y 5y minus by 5 so this can be written as so 1 over 3 we start with 5 y is 1, 2, 3, so y is start from number 1, 5 multiplied by 1 minus by 5 plus by 5 multiplied by 2 minus by 5 plus by 5 multiplied by 3 minus by 5. So, So this we keep in answer of 1 over 3. So 5 minus by 5 is 0. Plus by 10 minus by 5 is equal to 5. Plus by 15 minus by 5 is equal to 10. So equal to 15 over 3 or equal to 3. The mean here, expectation of x, mean of x is equal to 3. 15 over 3. So... 
by looking at the example, there's something wrong with the, the answer there. So try to make the changes there. So the answer is the answer should be uh, should be three. It's not one. Eh? It should be three. So the answer, or maybe you can check the answer there. So. Uh, what I have uh, right here, the answer here is equal to three, but in the books they're written as one, and so you can you can recheck the answer either three or one. Okay? So you can check the answer. The answer might be only one. Eh? So what I calculate here, I got three. I, I do not know where, where it's from there. So the answer may be one or three. You can check the answer on page one zero four. Try again and check the answer. Okay, then we go to expectation of y. Eh? And the expectation of y is written as a summation of for all x and for all y, y, f, x, y. And uh, we know that the this thing is equal to uh, y multiplied by the original function is 1 over 3 y minus by x. This is uh, 1 over 3 is the coefficient you can bring it out here. 1 over 3, summation of for all x and for all y, y multiplied by 1, y minus by x. So, a substitute y here is from, uh, y is, x is 1 and 2, y is 1, 2 and 3, a substitute y for 1, 2 and 3. So the first one is 1 multiplied by 1 minus by x plus by 2 multiplied by 2 minus by x plus by 3 multiplied by 3 minus by x. So here is and the thing left here is expectation of x 1 over 3. So this is expectation of y. This is summation of y. So if you solve here, we well, have 1 over x plus by 4 minus by 2x plus by 9 minus by 3x. So if I solve here, I have here a summation of x, 1 over 3. So this will give me the answer of 1 over 3. So this is a 1, 4 and 9 is 14 minus by uh, 6x. So we have a summation of x. Okay. Now, then we solve for summation of x. So solve for summation of x. So if you solve for the summation of x, so here you have 1 over 3 summation for all x, 14 minus by 6x. If I solve for, for all x, so I have 1 over 3 here is equal to 14 minus by 6 multiplied by 1 plus by 14 minus by 6 multiplied by 2. So you have 1 over 3. 14 and 14 is 28 minus by minus and minus and minus by, by 12. Uh, 6, 6 minus by 18 to be minus by 18. So the answer is 10 over 3. So the answer here is 10 over 3. And C, I want to find the expectation of xy. C is expectation of xy. Now, uh, C is expectation of xy. C is expectation of xy. Now, expectation of xy is summation for all x and summation for all y. Doesn't matter, you can put x first or y first, summation of x, summation of y. Uh, xy, fxy. So this can be written as summation for all x, summation for all y, xy. fxy is y minus by x over 3. So this can be written as 1 over 3, summation for all x, summation for all y, xy, y minus by x. So, we know that x is from 1, 2, 
and y is 1, 2, and 3. So if we solve this one, we solve for y first. So we solve for y, so we, we substitute y here. So I have x multiplied by 1, 1 minus by x plus by x multiplied by 2, 2 minus by x plus by x multiplied by 3, 3 minus by x. So then I have outside here is expectation uh, summation for, for x. 1 over 3. So if you solve here, we get the answer here is <clears throat> so this can be written as 1 over 3 summation for all x. So here you have x, x, 2x, and 3x is 6x. So we solve here first. So I have here x minus by x squared plus by uh, 4x minus by 2x squared plus by, plus by 3x minus by 3 9x so 9x 3 4x 9x minus by 3x squared 3x squared so if you solve here this will be the answer of so I put here so 1 over 3 summation for all x so I have here x for x and 9x is 14x so negative x negative x negative 6x squared plus minus by uh, 6x squared so if you solve here you will have 1 3 so 14 multiplied by 1 minus by 6 multiplied by 1 square 1 square and 1 square plus by 14 multiplied by 2 6 minus by 2 square so this will give me an answer of so this will give me an answer of equal to 1 over 3 uh, 14 and 28 is uh, 14 and 28 is 32 28 is 32 minus by 6 plus by 6 plus by 24 plus by 30 6 plus by Plus minus by 30. 14 by 28 is 42. Here is 42. Here is 30. So 42. Yeah. So 42 minus by 30 is 12. So 12 over 3. And the final answer is equal to 4. So the expectation of xy is equal to 4. Okay. Now the last part is D. D is equal to I want to find the expectation of x plus y expectation of x plus y this can be written as summation for all x summation of for y for, for, y, for all y doesn't matter x and y so x plus y fxy okay and this can be written as expectation for all x expectation for all y x plus y 1 over 3 y minus by x okay or you can write like this expectation of x plus y by definition is expectation of x plus y is equal to expectation of x plus by expectation of y so since we have the expectation of x just now is 3 and expectation of y is equal to um 10 over 3, so we just solve this one, is 3 is equal to 9 over 3 plus by 10 over 3 is equal to 19 over 3. Or, uh, the books there given me, given the answer of expectation of x is 1 and the expectation of y is 10 over 3, so it's equal to 
3 over 3 plus by 10 over 3 is equal to 13 over 3. You can check the answer here. You can check the answer because of just now I solved, I got 3. But in the book written as 1, so please check the answer at either 1 or 3. Eh? I do not know which one is not right. So you just check the answer. If, if you find that the number 1 is correct, and then you just pull the answer of 1 and then use 3. So my, maybe my calculation is wrong. Eh? Written there is 1. There is a um, for C, uh, for D, eh? for D, expectation by X plus Y. y. This is D. Okay? Now, <coughs> The last part is I want to show you how to solve the uh, problem of uh, joint property for joint property function for the continuous continuous random variable. So for the continuous random variable, I refer to example 5.8. Example 5.8. So let's say I have a function here fxy f x y is given as uh, 1 over 18 x raised to y so x in between 0 and 3 and y the lower limit is 2 and the upper limit is equal to 0 the upper limit is 2 okay so here is 0 as well i want to find let's say i want to find the expectation of x now expectation of x is equal to double integration uh, y from 0 to 2 and x is from 0 to 3 uh, x fxy dx dy so this is an inner part this is an inner part this is an inner part inner part inner part this the this one is the outer part the part so we solve the inner part eh? first we solve the inner part so the inner part is uh, the rest we integrate with respect to x the outer part we integrate with respect to y so here this can be written as uh, 0 to 2 <coughs> 0 to 3 x x 1 over 18 because of x y is 1 over 18 x raised to y dx dy since 1 over 18 is a is a coefficient, you can just write like this 1 over 18, 0, 2, 0, 3, x raised 3, because of x and x squared is x raised 3, multiplied over by y dx dy. So if you integrate the inner part here, the inner part, you integrate into in the inner part with respect to x, I will have here. <coughs> The outer part is, uh, here is 1 over 18, 1 over 18, 0, 2. If I integrate that is x raised 4 over 4y, substitute for x is from 0 to 3. So don't forget to integrate with respect to y. Okay. So here is equal to 1 over 18. 1 over 18. So substitute for 0 to 3, you have 3 raised 4 over 4 or 3, 3 raised 3. 3 raised 3 is equal to 27y. 27y. 3. Uh, 3 raised 3 over 4. 3 raised 3 over 4. Uh, sorry, 3 raised 4 over 4. 9, sorry, 9 multiplied by 9 is equal to 81 over 4y minus by 0 so dy integration here so y is 0 to 2 0 to 2 y is 0 to 2 so, so you just put it here so this can be written as 1 over 18 integration of y 0 to 2 so here is uh, 3 raised 4 is 81 over 4 y dy or you can put here is a uh, you substitute 0 to 3 you get 81 over 4y minus by 0 okay. dy so here is equal to 1 over 18 so 0 to 2 
HTML or for Y to the Y. Now, if I integrate 81 over 4 y dy, we we'll get 81 y raised to over <coughs> 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8. It is 1 over 18. So substitute for 0 and 2. 8. Okay. So 4, 2 raised to is 4. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 4 divided. So 81. So the final answer is here is equal to 1 over 80 multiplied by 81 over 81 over 2. 81 over 2. Minus by 0. So the final answer here is, you can write here as a, the final answer is, so 1 of 81 over 81 over 36 this is the final answer for expectation of x expectation of x 81 over 36 okay 81 over 36 then um, i try to solve the expectation of xy c <coughs> expectation of xy now expectation of x y expectation of x y this is a number c equal to double integration so the inner part is dx the outer part is dy x y f x y okay. now <coughs> so the limit of x here limit of x x is from zero to x is from zero to S is zero. X is from 0 to 3 and Y is from 0 to 2. X, Y, the function there is 1 over 18. X square Y dx dy. dx dy. So if I integrate here, if I integrate here, we get so you can you can bring one over eighteen outside so one over eighteen then the integration of zero to two zero to three so if we solve here so x and x square is x raised three y raised two dx dy now I try to integrate with respect to y so if you integrate with respect to y we get x raised 4 over 4, y raised 2, substitute for <coughs> 0 and 3, dy, so here is 0, 2, 1 over 18. So if I integrate here, I solve here, so solving 3 raised 4, 3 raised 4 is 3, minus, 3 multiplied by 3 is 81 over 4, y squared, 81 over 4, y squared minus by 0 then you integrate with respect to y so 0 to 1 over 18 so this will give the answer of so if I put here so 1 over 18 now I integrate with respect to y so 81 over 4 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 y raised 3 so substitute for for y is from 0 to 2 to 0 to 2 so 1 over 18 then if you substitute for 2 <coughs> 2 multiply 2 raised 3 is equal to 8 so 81 over 12 multiplied by 8 so the final answer here is equal to 8 8, we can solve here. So here we have 1 over 18. So, so here is uh, 81 over. So here is uh, divided by 4. We get 3 here. Here you got 2. So, so here is 1 over 9. Okay. Here is 81 over 3. Okay. So 81 divided by 3 is 9 over 3. So 9 over 3 is equal to 3. The final answer here is equal to 3. Uh, 
The expectation of x y is equal to three. Okay, the expectation of x y is equal to three. So we have solved a, a, c, and uh, d. Uh, so I leave to you to solve d. Uh, so we have I have solved I have solved a, and I have solved c. So try to solve uh, b and b and d. Eh? B and try to solve b and d. So please solve b. Please solve b and. And uh, for for exercise, you can refer to uh, for some exercise you can refer to page uh, page you can refer to page one to two. Okay, you can refer to page one to two. Uh, try to solve uh, as, as example uh, exercise exercise. You can solve exercise. Exercise 5.1, page 1 to 2, 1 to 2. So try to solve page 1, 2, 3. So you can solve page 1, page 2, page 3. You can solve page 3, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. A, 3a b c d e f and g yeah, you can solve g this also you can you can also can you can also solve question 4 question 4 number 4 you can solve a up to F, A to F. So A to F. Okay. So A to F. I think that's all for uh, today. So uh, we will we will discuss uh, uh, the other chapter is on moment uh, next week. So uh, at the moment, try to solve a uh, few questions here from exercise. That's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.